An exciting 2014 regular season is in the books, and today the American announced its five top individual awards. Memphis head coach Justin Fuente has unanimously been named American Athletic Conference Coach of the Year by a vote of his peers. Fuente, in his third year at Memphis, has overseen a dramatic turnaround of the Tiger program. When he got to Memphis in 2011, he inherited a team that had won a combined five games the previous three years. He now has the Tigers at 9-3, their most regular season victories since 1963, and good for a share of the American Athletic Conference Championship. One of the first items Fuente put in place upon being named the head football coach was the Tiger Code. The code consists of three elements, one, being fundamentally sound, two, being physically fit, and three, being mentally tough. After three seasons, Fuente's program has taken hold of his code, and it has paid off on the field. A former co-offensive coordinator at TCU, Fuente's teams have seen marked improvement on both sides of the ball. The Memphis offense is averaging more than 34 points per game, while the defense has been among the nation's best, surrendering only 17.1 points per game to rank fifth nationally. Fuente is also a finalist for the Eddie Robinson Award given by the Football Writers Association of America to the nation's top coach. His Tigers team will face BYU in the inaugural Miami Beach Bowl December 22nd. East Carolina quarterback Shane Carden caps a remarkable career by being named American Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Year in the Pirates' first season in the league. Carden taking home the top conference award two seasons in a row as he was named Conference USA MVP in 2013. The senior had a great year throwing the ball, finishing among the NCAA leaders in virtually every passing category. He finished second in completions, third in yards, and second in total offense. He led the top offense in the conference and fifth best in the nation at over 530 yards per game, setting an American record with 4,309 passing yards this year. Carden threw for at least 300 yards in nine of his team's 12 regular season games. No other American quarterback did it more than four times. He was named American Offensive Player of the Week three times this fall. Carden is also a semifinalist for the Davy O'Brien Award given to the nation's top quarterback. He's already East Carolina's leader in passing yards, attempts, completions, touchdown passes, and total offense. And we'll look to add to those when he leads the Pirates in the Birmingham Bowl, January 3rd against Florida. UCF cornerback Jacoby Glenn and Memphis linebacker Tank Jakes have been named Defensive Players of the Year after finishing tied in a vote among the league's coaches. Jakes was the American Defensive Player of the Week twice during the regular season and played a crucial role for a Tigers defense that finished third in the conference in total defense. Jakes finished with just over seven tackles per game and his six sacks were good for seventh in the conference. He ranks 26th nationally in tackles for loss and 13th nationally in forced fumbles. The final game of Jake's productive career will be December 22nd in the Miami Beach Bowl against BYU. UCF sophomore cornerback Jacoby Glenn has played an integral role for the conference's top defense. UCF ranks third in the FBS in total defense, holding offenses to just under 283 yards per game. Glenn led the conference with seven interceptions and 18 passes defended in the regular season. Those totals are good for third and fourth nationally. He was named American Conference Defensive Player of the Week twice and earns a first team spot on the all-conference team for the second straight season. Glenn's Knights face NC State in the Bitcoin St. Petersburg Bowl on December 26th. Memphis kicker Jake Elliott caps a great year by being named American Athletic Conference Special Teams Player of the Year. The sophomore's 107 points led the conference. He was 19 for 29 on field goals this season and a perfect 50 for 50 on extra points. The most memorable moment of his season came on November 7th at Temple when his last second field goal gave the Tigers a 16 to 13 win and made the Tigers bowl eligible for the first time since 2008. He was the American Special Teams Player of the Week four times this fall, the most weekly awards of any player in the conference. 
USF running back Marlon Mack has been named American Athletic Conference Rookie of the Year. The true freshman came to USF as a four-star recruit out of Booker High School in Sarasota, Florida. He wasted little time in making a big impression for the Bulls, rushing for an American Conference record 274 and four touchdowns in his first game against Western Carolina. Mack would continue his strong play all season long, leading the American in rushing yards with 1,041. He also becomes the first USF freshman to rush for 1,000 yards in a season. In all, he had four 100-yard rushing games and would add nine touchdowns on the ground. With the way USF head coach Willie Taggart wants to run the ball, expect even bigger things from Mack in 2015. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.